What's up everyone? I hope everyone's having an amazing weekend so far. So last night I got off work at about 11.30 p.m. Went to bed about 1 a.m. and was up at about 5 o'clock for a 5.50 a.m. shift. We're about to head out to Lawrenceburg, Washington for the weekend and we're gonna go hike Coach Up Lake, but just look at this amazing view on the way there. We've had a lot of friends who have gone before and they said it's a must have on your bucket list. Just a quick stop on the way there during our journey, checking out this amazing view. Stay tuned in this video and I'll show you guys our weekend. All right, everybody, so we just arrived to Levensworth and it was about a three hour drive on the way here. It didn't seem that long because it was pretty scenic. So we're excited to be here. Let me give you guys a tour of where we're staying. It's pretty nice. Bam, guys, here's the grand tour. Check it out. So it's a personal suite for us for the weekend. Nice fancy artwork along the walls. Here's our bed, we got our essentials packed. Again, we're here to hike Coach Up Lake, so we got our camelbacks ready for tomorrow. Our shoes, hydro flask for extra water. Representing America, because it's in the heart of town, they hook us up with some earplugs because we have neighbors as well. Sometimes they said it could get loud. This place has a nice, modern, artistic feel to it. Like this light, for example. Nice, comfy looking couch. Some extra chairs provided. Also got a fridge to store our cold items. Place to wash your hands, clean up after we eat. Show you guys the bathroom. It's my favorite part. Super clean and modern. She got the countertop, the tile wrap. TV to relax, lay down, watch some Lucifer maybe. But yeah, there's the tour. We're gonna go look for some food now. So it's currently nighttime and it's been a long day. It's been up since about 5 a.m. and right now we're currently on an adventure to look for some food to eat. <laughs> Headed down to try out some food. Let me talk to you about this food right here. First thing, it is delicious. I ordered a pork cutlet here, that's fried. And it comes with some noodles and red cabbage. The red cabbage kind of has a party taste to it, almost like cranberry. And I pair it almost like it's Thanksgiving with turkey. Give myself a nice cut right here. It has like a nice mushroom gravy that I really like. I like mushrooms and I like gravy, so it's a nice combo. Put some of that cabbage on top. Straight to the mouth. There you go. Yeah, and I would say that's probably true for us. Bilingual. That's safe. So we just got done eating. Food was delicious. Super full. We're gonna go back to the place, unwind for the day, lay down, get some rest for our hike tomorrow. But yeah. Friday night here in Leavenworth was success so far and we're looking forward to the rest of the weekend. It's good morning. It's about 6.15 a.m. over here. We're up early because we want to beat the rush and get a good parking spot on the trail. I heard it gets pretty busy. Before we go, we're going to try to make some snacks. Sandwich and some already pre-made snacks.
dessert for later. After our re roared. So we just got to the trailhead, as you can see. It gets pretty packed. We got here about 7.30 a.m. If you guys don't have a parking permit, you have to go to the top of that trailhead. They have a box where you can get a slip and put your license plate, fill it out, drop in five bucks, stick a permit on your dash. All right, let's begin this hike. Super excited. You ready? Look, yeah. So we're just starting our hike. This is the start of it. Some nice terrain. Rocky. We're about an hour in. We ran into this nice little waterfall here. So we just passed the bridge. So far it hasn't been too bad, but I heard it gets worse after here. So we're going up. Everyone needs to start praying. Just loving how the sun reflects off the rocks and the trees right now. Awesome views. All right, so we just crossed another bridge and it definitely gets more rocky. So I know a lot of people have tried to hike this in the past and they stop because they think they have to climb over all these rocks. But if you cross the bridge and follow this trail, it'll take you to the top. Giving you an update. It's about 45 minutes to an hour, I heard, from the top from where we're at now. It's definitely not easy on the second half of this hike. Tons of incline and lots of rocks. So, if you guys want to do this, I would suggest you guys do a lot of leg training, lunges, body squats, gyms open, utilize that stairmaster. A little glimpse of some of the terrain for Kochuk Lake. Last stretch.
All right, what's up, what's up, guys? So it took us about four hours to get here, but that's only because I stopped so many times to take videos and photos, but the hike was not easy for sure towards the end. Uh, well worth it though, check it out. So after that long journey, it's time for us to finally munch down. We got some creamy crepes with Nutella. Costco with the hookup. We're gonna take our sweet time hanging out here because it was a long journey for sure. I think it's gonna be even longer going down because it's so steep. We're gonna have to be careful so we don't slip. Since we just got done eating, I'm thinking about going for a swim. I mean, we made it all the way to the top of the mountain, sweating and all. Might as well go out and refresh yourself. Feel like glacier water. <sighs> so I finally jumped in. Definitely cold. My body still hasn't gotten used to it. But it's so nice. So we are starting to descend down from the mountain. We got my boss babe up there leading the way. I feel like it's pretty challenging going back down as well. Because it's so steep. Make sure you guys watch each step you take so you don't fall. I want everyone to be safe if you guys decide to take one of the challenge. Probably won't take as long as it did coming back or coming up because we took more breaks, catch our breath, take photos and videos, but yeah. Definitely have to be careful. So after a long day of hiking, we're finally back in town. Gonna go look for some food and maybe some fresh beer to drink. Nice reward for us accomplishing the hike. All right, so after an adventurous day of hiking, it is now time for your boy to enjoy himself and rehydrate his muscles to some German beer. That's refreshing. So I'll recap about the hike. The hike is about eight miles total, four going up and four going down. If you guys want to do it, I suggest you guys prepare yourself mentally and physically. It's not the easiest of hikes for beginners. Bring water, plenty of it, and if you guys want good parking, get there early. So, totally worth it. I suggest you guys do it, put it on your bucket list, and until next time, cheers.